Welcome to the Hyperpolyglot Activist, Learn Languages, Make a Difference. My name is Dr. Carlos Yebra Lopez, and today I want to ask you a series of questions related to linguistic discrimination in general and accents in particular. What is an accent? Who has an accent? And what are the societal, economic, cultural, and political implications of this? Stay tuned. <music> So first things first, what is an accent? As you can see, a quick search reveals that accent comes from the Latin accentus, which means tone, signal, or intensity from the prefix ad, which means to, and then cantus, or song. And in Greek, it will be uh, prosoidia. So it's a particular way in which in our speech, we produce a certain melody, a certain song. So then the question becomes, who has an accent? And the answer is very simple, everybody. Absolutely everybody has an accent, meaning a certain intonation that they use when they speak. Hence the title of this video, speaking without an accent is like typing without a font. An accent is something you need in order to be able to speak. You're always going to speak with a certain intonation. So if everybody has an accent, the question then becomes, what do we mean when we say that someone has an accent? Well, we mean that they are not utilizing the standardized accent for that specific language. So let me give you an example. If we talk about English, we have two standardized accents. The first one is called received pronunciation, and it's the standardized accent of British English. In the case of American English, we have standard American. Now, it's important to understand that these are standardized accents. This means that the standard itself does not operate in a vacuum, does not fall from the sky, it comes after an entire process of sociopolitical dispute. So in the case of received pronunciation or the standardized form of British English accent, it comes from a very specific southeastern part of England, which is to say London, which is in turn the most prestigious region. Now, why do I say prestige and not prestigious? because that prestige does not fall from the sky. It has very specific sociopolitical causes behind. So that prestige is acquired as opposed to given by definition or by default. The same occurs with standard American. Standard American is just the mid-Atlantic coast accent and there is no coincidence because the mid-Atlantic region is one of the most prestigious regions as opposed to prestigious regions. It has acquired that prestige over the years due to a sociopolitical process that needs to be accounted for. If we are to understand why this accent in particular has a higher status than other American English accents. So in conclusion, speaking without an accent, it is speaking with the accent of the high class in that given language. Now this thesis has a number of implications. For instance, if everybody has an accent, then why is there a whole industry based on accent reduction? There is no such thing as accent reduction of having more or less accent, but rather an accent shift. You can be closer or farther apart from the standardized accent, but you definitely don't have more or less accent. So. An entire industry, which is the industry of accent reduction for professionals or accent reduction for people who want to have more and better job opportunities, rests on a powerful but ultimately false language myth. So then why would we like to have our accent reduced, which means have our accent changed so that it's closer to the standardized accent in a particular language? Well, the answer is that accent is a very strong indexical of identity and belonging. In other words, our accent is highly indicative of a number of categories such as gender, age, social class, etc. 
So if we want to create a certain impression of our gender, age, social class, status, etc., etc., we aspire to have the same accent as those who belong to our desired age, gender, social class, status, etc., etc. As you can see on the screen, this form of discrimination is called accentism. So accentism is a term which refers to linguistic discrimination and in this sense it describes any situation in which an individual feels as though they have been unfairly judged, treated or commented on because of the way they speak, write and communicate more broadly. Now, this unfairness can be negative or positive if you do not deserve something but you acquired because of the action that you were able to perform, then that's also unfair. So the Accentism project has the aim of uncovering and challenging such discrimination in everyday life. The site provides the opportunity for people to share their own stories and experiences of language-based bias, prejudice and discrimination. You can find lots of articles and information on this website. So bearing this in mind, we can now go back to the whole accent reduction industry and understand that this is premised on a racial linguistic pedagogy that implicitly teaches the need to sound neutral in order to succeed in the workplace in particular and in life in general. So let me give you an example. Tell me if this sounds familiar to you. You are in a country where people speak as their first language, a language that is not your first language. So you introduce yourself and after a few words, your interlocutor detects that you do not have a mastery of the standardized accent of that language in that particular region where you are. And then he or she proceeds with a million dollar question. Where are you from? Now, this question can be asked in various ways, but it signals very clearly one idea. The intuition or the prejudice that you are an outsider, that you are a foreigner, that you were either not born or not raised there. Now, you might even get mocked at or derided because of your accents. The irony is, of course, that those who ridicule other people's accent in trying to highlight the supposed ignorance of that person are actually exposing their own ignorance. Does this resonate with you in any form, shape or fashion? Do you have an accent too? In other words, do you type with a font? I bet you do.